Hi everyone, I'm Haruko from Love the Way Art. Today's topic is about the beauty born out of brokenness. Well, this is a super general question, but have you ever had anything broken in life? Like, have you had glasses or precious toys broken? Has your computer or car broken down on you? And what do you do when things break on you? Do you try to repair and save them? Or do you throw them away? Well, probably it depends. Sometimes it will make more sense to replace them with something new. Other times, unquantifiable value is preserved to something broken. Well, money can buy everything, right? Well, my next question is, have you ever had anything intangible broken in life? Such as promises, goals, relationships. These are tough. I happen to have many. The dreams that my effort fell short of, relationship with another human that's been broken, opportunities that's been lost. No matter how it happened, it is disappointing and painful, simply because something isn't just repairable or replaceable. When it's gone, it's gone. You may ask yourself why this happened and what went wrong, and you wish you could have been better and wiser. I assume that you all have been through something similar. My last question is, have you ever been broken? When you feel broken, you may feel shame, your pride may hurt. It's painful and you may go through some rough time. You know that you cannot remain broken forever, but it's so hard to pick yourself up. So what do you do? How can you move forward? So today, I wanted to share the message of Kintsugi, which gives a whole new way of looking at yourself and outlook of your future. It is especially for those of us who are in a difficult situation, but also for everyone, even if you are doing all right in this moment. Because life promises no place for safety, and we humans are always subjected to brokenness. In life, we risk loss and pain. We risk being acted upon by forces outside of our control. So, um, as you may know, Kintsugi is a century-old Japanese art of fixing broken pottery. Kintsugi Techniques uses a special tree sap lacquer to put pieces back together with powdered gold dusted over it. Beautiful seams of gold in the random cracks of pottery gives a whole new, one-of-a-kind appearance to each repaired piece. While Kintsugi offers practical aspect of saving the pottery and giving them our second life, there is so much more about the aesthetic beauty and philosophy of Kintsugi that we can appreciate and learn from. So let's go over it. First, Kintsugi recognizes the fractures and damages as part of the history of an object. Not only is there no attempt to hide or disguise them, but it also literally illuminates them by using gold, which often makes the repaired pieces even more beautiful than the original. It celebrates the revitalization of the broken pottery with a new look and embraces its imperfection. Secondly, Kintsugi refers to the Japanese philosophy of Mushin, whereas Mu is nothing and Shin is our mind. Mushin refers to the state of no mind, free from attachment, anger, fear, or all other thoughts and emotions. It is the idea of acceptance of changes, fate, as well as openness to what's new, while fully existing within the moment. Zen Buddhist, Taoist, artist, and martial artist, and many others attempt to reach this state during their practice, meditations, and everyday life. Christy Ballet, the author of Aesthetics of Mended Japanese Ceramics, said this. The vicissitude of existence over time to which all humans are susceptible could not be clearer than in breaks, the knocks, 
and the shatterings to which ceramic wear too is subject. This poignancy or aesthetics of existence has been known in Japan as monono aware, a compassionate sensitivity or perhaps identification with things outside oneself. Kintsugi fosters the idea that a brokenness in itself and of itself can be a beautiful state, and we can always begin a new start despite the past failures. I also want to emphasize on the power of accepting imperfection and being open to change. It helps us break free from obsession of perfectionism. What is even more powerful is that when we experience brokenness and acceptance, we often find a new way to express ourselves, to have breakthroughs occur. It helps us liberate ourselves, unlock our creativity that is fearless and open for experimentation, and reach a different level of mindset, one that wouldn't have been forced out otherwise. Tony Robbins famously said, there is no breakthrough without a breakdown. I love Kintsugi pottery. I think they are so beautiful. Each one is unique and poignantly crafted. If you feel broken or if you've been broken, you are beautiful because of your cracks and because of your imperfection. But even better, you are soon to experience something even more beautiful and extraordinary to come out of brokenness. That's all for you today. If you like this video, please like it, subscribe it, or leave a comment. Thank you for watching. See you next time.